Hello! Today I am bringing you a book review, which I haven't done in a while, and I thought I would give it a go again. I haven't done reviews in a long time, though I do do reviews on Goodreads, so there's a link to my Goodreads page in the description if you want to friend me on there. But today I'm going to be reviewing The Ruins of Gorlan, 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 however you say it, by John Flanagan, which is the first book in the Rangers Apprentice series. Uh, the Rangers Apprentice series is a middle grade, I think? Middle grade-ish high fantasy um, series. There's quite a lot of books in it, but I've only read the first one, so... But this book follows a young boy named Will, who is a ward of the Baron, because he doesn't have any parents. So he is asked to choose what career path he wants to go into, really. And there's guild masters and they have to pick. And there's five wards and they all get different ones. And the one that Will wants to go to is the Battle Masters Guild. And he doesn't get in because he's really short. And kind of thin, not really built to be a warrior. And then this guy is there, his name is Holt, and he is the ranger for the Baron's Fiefdom. And he asks Will, he, well, he asks the Baron to ask Will to be his apprentice. And then he becomes the Ranger's Apprentice and it's so good after that. Like, gets really complicated. There is such a lot of history that you get and it's just so well done. The world building's really well done. And the main character Will is just really fun. So that is a non-spoiler review. I did give it 4.25 stars out of 5 because I did have some issues with it. But those are more kind of spoilery, so if you haven't read this book, I suggest you leave. But unless you want to be spoiled, because I've watched book talks where I want to be spoiled. But yes, let's go spoilers. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the plot. The plot itself is rather unusually paced, because... The beginning is not plot driven, like it is Will's training and Horace's training and whilst they were interesting to read, they didn't like have an end goal as such, I didn't feel like they were going anywhere in the grand scheme of things, like it was an insignificant part of the overarching plot. Though Horace's storyline at the beginning with the bullying was just heartbreaking because bullying in books is something that isn't, I don't think, touched upon as much. And like, his bullying was horrific and I thought it was amazingly done. And that was, a, that was like the storyline at the beginning that had me interested. And then obviously the storyline as it got to the end was just phenomenal because it took a shock twist. Didn't expect that. And the climax was just amazing. The Calcara were kind of weird and kind of creepy. And just that fight at the end was just so well done. There was two fight scenes, I think, in this book, really. And the second one, especially, was just like, yeah, yeah, kind of tense, atmospheric. I really enjoyed that fight scene. I just felt the beginning plot was a bit slow, which is where some of the deductions on my 4.25 stars came in. Next up, we have some characters in this book. Okay, first things we're going to talk about is Holt. I'm just going to put it out there that he is my favourite character in this book by a lot because I've like it's been a long time since there's been a character this sarcastic. He, every word he says, I'm a bit like, mm, is that sarcasm or not? Holt was just sarcastic. He was a brilliant character. He had the he wasn't kind of that flawed. He was kind of cool. He was strong. He was intelligent, clever, witty. He was just such a fun character and his relationship with Will really grew and it was just so nice to see. And then we have Will, who is the main protagonist, who just was a bundle of fun. Like, he was flawed realistically. I think, I think he was one of the most realistic characters because he had the flaws and he made mistakes. And, you know, he learned from the mistakes and he really progressed in his training. And he progressed so much with his relationship with Horace and the others. It was just so nice to see a character develop so well in the first book. Then we have Horace, who I didn't expect to play such an important role. Because at the beginning, he's an absolute... <clears throat> he's an absolute... 
he was just cruel towards Will and I was like, nah, nah mate, you need to pipe down because we don't do that to our leads. But then he goes to the battle school and it just gets worse for him. He has a really, really bad time with it. And I just felt really sorry for him the whole time, which was really strange because I didn't think I would, that he proved himself to be such a brave character. And I really enjoyed that. I think he could be so much more and he really starts to show signs of that already. He can be more. And I'm just so looking forward to him in the later books because I feel like his storyline must be so interesting because he is so interesting. And then we have the supporting cast. I'll call them the supporting cast. We have things like Baron, Arald and Sir Rodney who are both just great. Baron Arald is just... He has got that sense of humour that no one in the book got and it was quite funny to see. I just laughed at that because... That's what happened. And then, so Ronnie was just strong. And then you have the girls, Jenny and Elise. Alice. I think it's Alice, not Elise, but her. Talk about her in a minute. But Jenny was just kind of fun. She was just really joyous. She was joyous, Jenny. She was a... Just kind of there. She didn't actually do a lot for the plot. I must say that's something that I didn't notice until now. It's that the female characters don't play a huge role in this book. Hmm. Then you have Alice or Elise, and I was on board. I was on board with her character. She was a very, very smart girl, very diplomatic, very wise. And then she does that thing at the end. <laughs> I marked it because I got really pissed off with it. And that is the kiss. Why did she kiss him? Alice kisses Will. And I got really confused because there was no indication that was gonna happen. I didn't feel like they had that much in common. They didn't actually talk that much in the book because Alice is hardly in it. And I got really annoyed that that was the direction that suddenly went in because it didn't make sense. And I don't know whether it's just like they're gonna have it built in the later books, but they didn't have any interaction in the first place. They didn't like, they were together for like less than five pages it felt like. I got really annoyed at that because just no, I didn't expect it. I didn't think it fitted very well in with the story which is a shame because stuff I mean honestly I don't know if it's just because I've been reading loads of books with uh, LGBT leads but Will and Horace just saying that should be the ship in this series because they actually interacted with one another and actually had a friendship basis just saying another thing that did annoy me which was the ending which was the epilogue which was the strange revelation that Holt knew Will's father. I mean, I wasn't entirely surprised that he did, but I wasn't impressed. I feel like I should have been really impressed with what Will's dad did, and I wasn't that impressed. I didn't think I needed to come out this early. I feel like you could have waited. I don't think Will was going to ask that much about it if Holt had asked him not to, because it wasn't just... I didn't feel it was necessary. That's probably why it was the epilogue and not like another chapter. But yeah, that was just weird. Didn't really like that bit either. Um, we'll go on to just briefly on the world building and the writing. I thought the world building was superb because never once did I like have any doubts of what the world was like. I think the atmosphere he created, John Flanagan created, was really well done. I thought his writing was very good. I thought it was. It had that high fantasy feel that you get in kind of older books, but for a younger audience. He had like adapted such a writing style for adults and then he just seemed to perfectly mould it into a young adult middle grade fantasy series and I thought that was really well done. The world was great. Yes, I really enjoyed it. 4.25 out of 5. I cannot wait to pick up the sequel. I think the first four form a loose arc, so I'm going to try just to read the first four, though I do have the first five. So we'll see how it goes. I did really enjoy it, so yes. That is The Rangers Apprentice, book one, The Ruins of Gorlan. And that was my attempt at book reviewing, which I haven't done since like January, so forgive me if it's shit. I will have another video soon. Goodbye.